Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but... Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a pulpers apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Could do a better job dusting, or no? So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Oh, 
I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you'd cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You were the, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh. This is the job, Snow. You may not like it, but this is the job. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. 
Who can barge in, in screaming about something the woodsman had? Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get it. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. <laughs>